lot of good things Sunday. Yeah. Um, how you balance the things you did well with your team as opposed to still some things to work on and the bottom line is still came up short right. as far as you move, move to the next game. Here. Yeah, uh, we talked about it obviously a lot yesterday. Um, you know, obviously some correctable things. Uh, we wanted to, to double Mac. Um, the, the, and Caitlin did such a good job of kind of pushing her off the block. She was kind of in that gray zone of, um, and, and we didn't quite commit to it a couple times, and that's when they get their fan out, kick out threes. Um, now, when we were able to do it, it worked. It was successful for us. So just really building on that, um, trying to get everybody to understand. And there's some other things that, that uh, you know, we allow to happen that we you can't allow to happen when you play against uh, a really good ball club. Um, and it, we just, we just got to keep working and keep getting better at what we're, what we're, what we're solid at um, and try to improve the things where we lack. Million dollar question is how do you build off this now? Yeah, you know you, you talk to him after the game, and you know the the message is like, okay, like, you know, here you are, like you showed us that you have it. You showed us some grit. You showed us some fight. Um, you showed us some want to. You showed us that that winning was the most important thing. It it, it wasn't playing time. It wasn't shots. It wasn't wasn't anything other than Purdue winning. Um, you know and. It, it's like, like you said, it's like the million dollar question. I think if every coach had the answer to that, you know, that maybe there wouldn't be coaches. There'd be somebody who just make a lot of money giving all the, the, that advice to everybody. Um, but it, it is, it is, you know, my job, our, our job as a staff to, to kind of help find that and bring that out every day. But, the, but just the importance of not taking a step back now. I mean, you're not, you know, the intensity and stuff. It's right. not going to be that way every game, but just not to take a Yeah, we a can't, like, back. you know, whatever. It, it, Whoever we play, um, the mentality has to be winning is the most important thing, um, no matter what. And, and we think if we can compete and play really hard, um, I told I told that kid right there, um, when she plays hard and has fun, our team our team tend to, tends to follow her lead. Seven offensive rebounds there too. Play hard, have fun. So, over the last several losses that you guys have suffered, what lessons are you taking from those and hoping to build on moving forward? Um, gosh, you know, it's, I feel like it's been forever. It's been four games in a row now. Um, you know, it, every game has been a different reason. Uh, but the, the main one that we, we, you know, if we can take care of the basketball um, and we can compete, we give ourselves chances. Uh, obviously, you're never going to, you're not always going to shoot the ball well. Um, the other teams maybe have great nights. But, like, if you take care of it, we've, we've, it, we make teams play in the half court against our defense our set defense, and we play hard and compete, then we're going to give ourselves a chance. Now, you guys have always been a team that responds very well to situations. Last year, you guys would lose, get a rank point, and literally the <laughs> next game. Um, this year, with it being such a young team, how do you kind of get those players in that same mindset that maybe the older players have? I think I think they're – I think they have it. Um, you know, it's just a matter of just not translating to wins right now. I think they have it. I think they respond in practices. Um, I think our young kids have responded in games, um, in moments. Um, they have it in them. Um, it just hasn't translated to wins, and um, it, and it's on us. We got to dig a little deeper and, and find a way to come on top tomorrow night. Michigan State, new coach, new mm -hmm. system. Yeah, they, they everything. Put up, they put up a lot, a lot of points. points. 80 a game, um, whatever that is. I think they're undefeated every time they score 80. So. Um, they're coming off a game where they scored 50, their, their lowest outcome. So, uh, you know, their lowest output. So, we, you know, um, you know, their home floor expecting to come out with a lot of juice early. So we got to make sure we, you know, we come out swinging and punching first and, and not get knocked down on our heels. But um, space of floor, a lot of shooters, everybody shoots it. Um, everybody drives it. Um, they're going to press. So we got to make sure we're taking care of the basketball, those things. But, um, Nothing too complicated. They just what they do is is uh, you know their playbook isn't massively thick, um, but they they've got what nine ten actions that they do really really well, and we've got to be locked in. Do you feel like you've been in position to challenge more three pointers here recently? I mean, shooters are going to make shots. That's yeah. just the way yeah. you, you made shots <laughs> <It's> <laughs> with a hand right. in your face. Yeah. But do you feel like you're in? Good position, or is there something more? Sometimes I think when we, because we, we, we do like to, to trap on the baseline side, so sometimes we get caught, um, you know, not moving on flight of the basketball or short closeouts and maybe not recognizing what shooters we're trying to run offline. Um, you know, some of us aren't the, the, the tallest players, and so short closeouts don't make a lot of sense. Um, you know, I think we missed a couple against Indiana where we wanted to run them off the line, and 
uh, make them dribble a basketball when we just maybe we didn't understand that it was a shooter or, was, or wasn't a shooter. Just So just locking into personnel, locking into scout. There's a couple kids from Michigan State that don't shoot it, um, but everybody else will. So making sure you understand, okay, if I'm closing out on that person, I don't need to run at them. Uh, but if it's somebody else, I got to make sure I'm running them off the line if we're late. Speaking of locking in the scout, I know that that was a really big thing in the beginning of the year mm -hmm. was trying to get everybody on the same page when it came to scouting and mm -hmm. especially the new players saying like, hey, this is really important. Obviously, that was shown in the game against Indiana this past weekend. How has the team improved when it comes to scouting? Yeah, I think for the most part, there's just there's just times when we, we, we forget, you know, who that who who something who someone is or, or who, who that is on a backside. Um, you know, in, in a game like in Indiana, you, you can't lose track of, of something like that. Um, you know, in some other games, maybe non-conference games, you, you, you can kind of get away with those things. But for the most part, we've been we've been much better detail oriented when it comes to scout. Now, speaking of detail oriented, um, what are some of those specific details that you're focusing on in the game for tomorrow? Oh, man, a lot of them. <laughs> um, specific and without giving our game plan away. Um, you know, I, you know, they run a lot of ghost screens, so making sure we're locked into what we want to do on a ghost screen. Um, a lot of, a lot of point guard. You know, getting downhill. Um, they've got it. They run a couple actions off off some pin downs that you got to be locked in. A lot of high on ball screens we got to guard. Um, so. You know, I think we, we worked on one specific way yesterday. We'll, we'll throw a couple of them at them tomorrow and, and really figure out what, what fits our personnel best. And um, by tomorrow, 6.30, we'll have, a, we'll have a game plan and see if we can execute it. Perfect.